Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React Native video, we will learn about the flat list. These are the points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will see the what is the flat list. Then we will just uh, make some dummy JSON data for the flat list. We will write the code for flat list. We will just make a little bit style to it, and that's it. So before going to the code, now we have the first question: is what is actually flat list? So flat list is a very similar to the any loop that can just handle the JSON data. All right. So when we just want to make a list as an output from JSON data, then we can use the flat list. And this data can be your static data, and it can be just come from your API and REST API and all. All right. So now let's go for the code. All right. So this is my app.js file, and here I will just do my whole work for flat list. I'm just going to zoom it out so that you can just see it very clear. Okay. So first of all, we have to import the two things. First, uh, I have to import the use state because uh, we have this is our uh, functional component, and for defining the state, we have to use the use state hook. And after that, I am just going to import the flat list from react native so let's define the state first of all so let's take const and uh, just define the two things one is uh, data and for update it we can use the set data and just uh, extract them from use state and i just want to put some dummy json here as in default data so let's say uh, name is Anil, and uh, I can just put the email is Anil at the rate test dot com. To to save the time, I am just going to uh, copy and paste it. So second name is let's say Bruce, and uh, Bruce uh, email address Peter. Peter's email address, Kelly, and Kelly's email address. Right. So now we have dummy JSON also. So now what is the next step? So we just have to uh, plot the flat uh, flat list now. So for that, I am just going to commit the this code. I am just clearing the screen here. And now just simply use here flat list, and you can just simply close it like this. And it should be the two props by default. One is the data and data coming from the state, which is this dummy data, right? And now the second parameter is the render item. And this is an object. And as a first parameter, it will just take a mm, functional component. Oh, sorry. Oh. We will just take a function as a uh, parameter, and here I can just use the text for the output and just simply use here item dot name. Right, so now let's see the output. Uh, um, I think I should not use as an object here, so let's remove it simply. And now you can see that we just got the data here, but this is a little bit tiny, so that I can just make it a style to it. All right, so just uh, put uh, some style, and let's take it in the next line, so that uh, we can just uh, see it completely in the screen. All right. So first of all, let's put the font size can be like uh, 60, and background color can be like sky blue and um, margin so let's put the margin as uh, 15 all right now you can see that this is the okay so let's make it a little bit smaller the font size and here we can also use simply um, item dot email address also all right so this is not coming in the one line so that uh, I can just use a little bit font size uh, smaller. All right. So these are the uh, 
just four data so they cannot be just scroll out so that I, I'm just going to repeat this data so that you can just see the scroll also okay so now you can see that there is a lots of data and this is uh, scrolling very easily and very smoothly so this is the way that how can you can use the flat list in the react native if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask in the comment don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care